What's going on, friends and family? My name is Skyly, and today we're going to be talking about fun. You know, F-U-N, just a simple word. Really? Is it? Probably not, actually. That's that's why I'm making this video. We're going to be talking about playing games for fun that are fun for the fun of it. So fun, yeah. Um, and this is a conversation, so please meet us in the comments below. You guys actually, yeah, no, half the content of the video is in the comments. And uh, I would really appreciate a like, and thank you guys. I want to take this time to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the donations on the Patreon as well as direct. You guys literally are keeping the hype alive, and you guys in the comments are the bedrock of this community. Absolutely. And congratulations, guys, on 30,000 subscribers. Now, into the topic at hand here, we're going to be talking, yes, about the fun of playing video games. And you guys know I'm immediately going to just kind of be a little bit controversial here because that's what we do here. We have conversations. All right, so I'm starting the dialogue. Fun, not every video game is fun. And I'm not saying every bad game, you know, I'm, I'm really talking about pure, like amazing games, games that are freaking fantastic, that are award-winning, that are notably globally known as being good games. They are not bad, at least they are not bad games, but I'm telling you right now that they are not fun. Games like maybe Dark Souls a little bit, um, pretty much every horror game. Yeah, a lot of darker games, a lot of sad games, that Dragon Cancer, you know, stuff like that. Um, a lot of story games. They're not really designed to be fun, kind of. M maybe Dark Souls to an extent, but a lot of these games, specifically horror games, they're not really fun. Yeah, some of you guys probably already guessed it, but fun doesn't really have a single meaning. And a lot of people think that fun really just means that you enjoyed your experience or you don't at least regret the experience of playing a game. But, you know, some, especially me as a reviewer, somebody who went to school for video game design, fun really is a kind of like the happy feeling, right? It's, it's like a happier, sillier emotion. But at the same time, you guys use it so much more vaguely, uh, as, as in just like uh, you enjoyed your experience. But that's not really what you want to do as a designer, or really as a consumer, uh, telling other consumers like, hey guys, this game is fun, you know, Dark Souls is fun, and they get into Dark Souls, and it's actually a totally different emotion that they're gonna be feeling. You see, fun would be something like Mario, and then horror is literally the horror genre. See, when designers go about making games, they are designing, yeah, these mechanics and these characters in this world, the story, stuff like that, but they're designing a physical experience for the player to experience. And yeah, that's actually gonna be the next editorial, the physical experience of playing video games, how video games are actual physical tasks, you know, blah, 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 stuff like that. So stay tuned for that one. But today we're just talking about fun, but fun is a very particular thing that you guys use a little bit more vaguely. And I know there's double meanings and triple meanings and stuff like that, um, especially between, you know, English and then American English. I just want to make it clear that whenever you say a game is fun, uh, sometimes it doesn't always mean that you just simply enjoyed it, guys. Especially on the internet, where your reviews, where what you say can have an impact on if somebody buys a game or not. And what's really happening to me a lot in these videos that I create, a lot of you guys seem to be speaking like contrary to what I'm saying. You'll say, well, I really enjoyed the game, so I don't see why it's not fun. And then after that, you bullet point literally basically what I said in the video. So we don't actually have different points of views. I just used a different word to explain the experience. A game doesn't have to be fun to be impactful, to be meaningful. A game doesn't have to be good. A bad game can even be fun, right? But that's not that's not how this works. That's not how this is really all truly defined. That, that all of our experiences, I understand, are very fluid. But because it is so fluid, we need we should try to be very careful with our words and use them specifically so that people don't, like I said, jump into something like Dark Souls, where somebody says, "No, it's fun, dude," and maybe they're thinking something like, "I don't know, something more hack and slashy, like uh, God of War." Now, like, God of War is a fun game. Dark Souls was not really designed to be fun. It's kind of, it's a little bit horror-ish, definitely, absolutely. It's kind of grueling. It's definitely challenging. And the word fun is really loosely tied to Dark Souls and almost completely begone from the horror genre. See, in horror games, and this was the sort of example that they used in Full Sail University to explain it to all the noobs, uh, was that, you know, seriously, do you have fun playing horror games? Most of them tend to be kind of like walking simulators. Most of them, they're not very mechanically intensive, and generally the, the only physical feeling you have while playing horror games is specifically the horror, because that's the gimmick of the genre, that's the point. You're not meant to feel many other things, it's kind of, yeah, it's, the, it's literally called horror. It's literally a genre named after the literal emotion that you will physically be feeling while playing the game. 
And so that's why I'm very surprised when a lot of people try to bring up counterpoints to what I say when I'm literally not saying anything different. You're just kind of using a significantly more vague word and kind of luring people into games that maybe they actually won't be enjoying. It is so much more healthy for the consumer to be so much more specific. So anyways, guys, yeah, I just kind of wanted to explain that away. If you guys didn't realize that, that fun kind of as, uh, you know, just because you enjoyed a game doesn't mean it was particularly fun. Then again, at the same time, it kind of does because that's how, you know, it, language works. It's double, triple meanings. Uh, but anyways, when you hear a lot of people talk about fun, you yeah, now you know. Well, sometimes it means different things. So yeah, guys, uh, I don't really like using direct definitions, but to end the video, I will just use this, I guess, um, especially since like definitions themselves, even modern definitions can be pretty fluid. And also this is trying to define a, in my opinion, very fluid uh, experience or feeling a thing. So yeah, anyways, I will just end it with this. So uh, as a noun, fun means enjoyment, amusement, or lighthearted pleasure. As you can see, it's a little bit more sunny, you know, that, that the emotion that you should be feeling with the word fun. Now as an adjective, it just means amusing, entertaining, or enjoyable. So see, there's, there's that kind of, it seems a little bit different. It seems a, it seems a little bit different there. Um, it seems significantly more vague. Uh, of course, yeah, um, and then for as a verb, it just means a joke or a tease. Because that's, you know, as a fun, as a verb? Yeah, I'm just having fun with you, I'm just joking, I'm just teasing. So really, oh man, the word is still very vague, and there is double and triple meanings. But when you're talking about video games, you can say that a game was enjoyable, and you were entertained for a little bit, or distracted. You were amused by some of the mechanics, you were amused by seeing some of the scenes in the game. But in terms of literally playing the game, you know, the verb of the game, how does fun interact with that? How do you interact with the game that makes it fun or not? That is really why we should be a little bit more strict. I know, double meanings, triple meanings, all that good shit, I understand. It's still super vague. But in terms of, yeah, at least what I was taught in Full Sail University, um, and, and in terms of as a designer trying to create a game, you know, when you're trying to um, elicit a specific emotion, Fun is kind of one of those emotions. A game does not need to be fun to actually be good. Um, in fact, there are bad games that are still not fun, okay, um, but they still actually elicited a very particular emotion in me, and I don't regret my time with it. In fact, I would implore more people to try um, games like that, even though they're not good games, and overall the feeling of fun is absent. And the game is The War Z, by the way. Shit game. Um, really, there are much better uh, options now, like Unturned, but at the time, it was the only one. And so, yeah, there's that. Now, there's lots of ways you can have fun, you know, like you can just jump on with as Torbjorn, you know, in some Overwatch, and have a good tam. But some games have more specific things in mind. Sometimes they're really there to teach you a lesson, or make you feel a very specific emotion. So, a good game, bad game, regardless, fun or not, the experience that you have, it's still a game, you're interacting with it, and you will feel something. Now, this a game that can make you feel something more is probably a better game, generally, unless it's just really aggravating. But sometimes, actually, games are kind of meant to make you feel aggravated, such as Dark Souls, to an extent. So anyways, guys, the overall experience really simply cannot be just wrapped up by saying, a game is fun. You can't just give a game a thumbs up or a thumbs down. There's more to it. Um, so that's why my job is kind of complicated and that's why I would appreciate it if you guys came at things with um, Multiple perspectives in mind which should be pretty easy Especially when we have platforms like YouTube where once again half of the content of the video is the comments So keep that in mind guys join us in the comments below and just talk about stuff Would really appreciate it. What games do you find fun and which games are probably not? very happy-go-lucky that are generally uh, very fun, but are actually still interesting experiences. Please let us know in the comments below. I would love to know. And before we end the video, I'm actually going to give you the recommendations that I was given in Full Sail University to kind of help define uh, the different emotions that you might have playing a game. So a fun game would be a game like Don't Shit Your Pants. So links in the description there if you want to play that. It's a game where you literally just try not to shit your pants. Um, so that might be more of a fun emotion, but then you're going to have games that or really, there's no mechanics whatsoever, and it's it's really more of a playable story, and it's meant to make you feel probably something a little bit darker. So that one of those games is going to be called The Warbler's Nest. Yep, kind of an interactive story thing that you can do, much, much darker. But anyways, and finally, a very dark game as well that is also very story-based, but you still kind of move around a, a game world, and there's kind of like secrets and stuff. Yeah, uh, exploration. It's called Looming. And it's weird and dark and very, very debatably, there's no, I, I really don't know. You can't really call it fun. 
But anyways, you'll see the difference between a few of these games, especially in comparison to Don't Shit Your Pants, and then you'll see that uh, there are very specific emotions. Um, even between the two dark games that I listed, there's different sensations that you physically feel as a person playing these games. But in closing, guys, since these videos are mostly entertainment, I gotta say my outro. Hope you guys had fun. My name's Skylint, and I'll see you in the next one.